Hey everyone, thanks for viewing this video on bonding of propane piping in recreational vehicles. I'm Mick Sass, a senior inspector for the RV Industry Association. So, what exactly is bonding? Simply stated, bonding is the same as grounding. The difference being that items that are bonded are not part of an electrical system. Some of the most common items that are bonded to the chassis of an RV are things like metal roofs, metal siding, or iron pipe and copper tubing from the propane system. For all of these components, a path to chassis ground must be provided in the unlikely event that one becomes electrically energized. So remember that grounding and bonding are basically the same in that they both provide a path to ground for stray electrical current. Bonding and grounding both save people from being electrocuted. On the other hand, grounding is for components that are part of the 120 volt electrical system. This includes items such as metal J boxes, converters, and transfer switches. These components must be grounded to chassis because they could become energized simply by being a working component of the 120 volt electrical system. But for today's topic, we will concentrate on bonding of the propane piping components. Metal components of the propane system, like all other metal parts of an RV that could become energized, need to be bonded to chassis. This includes propane piping in the slide out portion of an RV. So let's look at the two common methods of bonding the propane piping system to an RV's chassis. The first method utilizes a bonding or grounding clamp seen here on the right side of the photo, a bridge clamp. These bridge clamps can be used in a couple of configurations depending on the diameter of the pipe being bonded. Connected to the bridge clamp is a number 8 gauge wire, which can be either solid or stranded wire. With either type, it must be a listed wire. The use of listed wire assures that the circular mill area, or the diameter of the wire, meets the requirements of the National Electric Code. At the other end of the copper ground wire is a listed ground lug secured to the chassis with a self-tapping screw. The self-tapping screw will assure that there is continuity established between the copper lug itself and the chassis. Here on the left, we see a bridge clamp attached to a standard iron pipe of a propane system. In the illustration, we see a standard installation with both halves of the bridge clamp positioned with a concave side gripping the pipe. In an alternate method used for bonding smaller copper tubing, one side of the bridge clamp is reversed as seen here to accommodate the copper tubing's smaller diameter. Both methods are acceptable and part of the bridge clamp's listing. The second method commonly employed to bond the gas piping system is the bulkhead connector. This brass fitting, seen here in the photo on the left, is installed through an appropriately sized hole in the chassis frame. The fitting is then secured with a nut and a star washer that bites into the painted frame, providing the necessary electrical continuity or bonding. Now, let's look at bonding slide-out components in the propane system. In many RVs manufactured within the last several years, rubber propane hose has become a common replacement for iron pipe and copper tubing. In some RVs of this type, there is absolutely no metallic piping at all. This does make installation of propane appliances in these slide outs somewhat easier as there are no additional bonding requirements. However, in some larger slide out kitchens that have multiple propane appliances, some iron pipe or copper tubing may be used to distribute the propane. In those cases, bonding will be necessary. Bonding of propane piping in the slide outs requires providing a path to chassis ground on the main body of the RV. As seen in this photograph, 
A stranded number 8 bonding wire is attached to both the slide out piping seen on the left and the main body of the RV on the right. Listed grounding clamps are used on both ends of this number 8 bonding wire that connect the slide out piping to the main body of the RV. Another means of connecting the bonding wire to the main body of the RV is by a simple grounding lug. This is done by attaching the ground lug with a self-tapping screw to the chassis of the main body of the RV. Here, an additional star washer had been added but is not necessary as the self-tapping screw establishes the required continuity. There are some installations where an L bracket that holds the iron pipe on with a brass bulkhead connector will need a star washer to establish that continuity. This is because both the chassis and the L bracket are painted. The star washer, when placed between the chassis and the L bracket, will cut through the paint on both and establish the required continuity. Also, when the slide out has metal framing, continuity may already be present. This continuity may be through the slide out mechanism itself or through the slide out rams that support the slide out when in the open position. In that case, as seen in the photo on the right, bonding of the slide out piping can be done in the slide out itself without having to run an additional bonding wire to the main body of the RV. Thanks for watching this RV Industry Association's standard training video on bonding of propane piping systems. Please feel free to view all of our training videos available here on the RV Industry Association's Standards YouTube station.